Are you excited? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you ready? Amen. Handa na ba kayo? Amen. Praise the Lord. It is a trademark of our dear Samuel Cho. Handa na ba kayo? Amen. Amen po ba? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, <clears throat> welcome to our brethren from uh, Nigeria and even uh, our brethren from uh, America. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And welcome also to our brethren, to our uh, newcomers, to our Samunim Chu and Samunim Hong. Welcome home again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So praise God. Before, before the words of God, um, can you open with me the uh, your Bible with you in the book in the book of Psalm, Psalm chapter thirty-seven, verse one to seven, verses one to seven, I should say. Okay, and uh, let us read it in uh, verse one. Uh, for the boys, verse 2, girls, verse 3, uh, alternative, alternative. So, in front, let us read in front. Voice. Voice, Voice first. 1, 2, 3, C, John. Do not. Okay, now, something up top. I said, voice. Uh, mga voice or gentleman. Or gentleman. Okay. Then uh, after that, after the gentleman, the gentle lady will follow. Ladies will follow. Okay, number one, gentleman. Okay, gentle women, gentle ladies. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither the green herb. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desire of thine heart. And he shall be brought thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgments as the noonday. Verse 7, all of, all of you, gentlemen, and gentlemen, and gentlemen, Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Read not thyself, because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who God wicked. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we bow down our heads and let us pray? Father, we thank you so much for the reading of your words. And uh, we continue, Lord, that we trust to you our lives. Amen. We continue to commit our lives, Father, God, and to you. Amen. Father, we, we pray that you will bless each and every one of us today as we hear and receive your message in our hearts. Father, I uh, admit my limitations. But I depend on you, Father. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Lord, I don't know what I feel right now, but I believe the presence of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. is with us. Hallelujah. Amen. To me, the Holy Spirit is our primary teacher of God this day. And I pray, Lord, that you will pour out your words, press revelations, O oh God, in my lips. Amen. As you use the prophets, as you use pastors, evangelists, Lord God, use your servant today mightily and powerfully. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray, Lord God, to this congregation that they will perceive you read and receive your message in their hearts. And they will lead to it, Father God. Thank you so much, Father. And Lord, we rebuke the work of evil in this
this place. In there, in this corner, Lord God, of this church. We rebuke it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Then you get out in this church. Yes. In Jesus' name, get out. In Jesus name. Lord, we thank you. Give us, Lord God, the concentration, Lord God, to hear your message. Because I believe, Lord God, that this message, Lord God, will fit and to us all. Thank you, Lord. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's pray for our Panginoon. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sabi na nga isang teacher, kapag daw ikaw ay pag tumayo ko ay nanginig ka, tignan mo daw sa matang sa mata ang iyong hearers and you will be strengthened. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I believe the Holy Spirit will will be with us today. Amen. Do you believe in that? Amen. Hindi na po ako magsasalita ng Tagalog. Amen. Hindi na po ako magsasalita ng Tagalog, pero magsasalita naman. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, ang ating, the theme that I would like to speak to you this morning is four words to win over worry. Hallelujah. And we will find that these four words to win over worry in this Psalm of David. Psalm chapter 37 verses 1. 1 to 7. So worry, worry is the worthless emotion. And it drains our strength needed to face today's difficulties. Kapag po tayo nag-worry na pati, talagang nasasaid po yung ating lahas para harapin ang mga difficulties, problems, trials in our lives if we always Worry, beloved brothers and sisters. And good news, good thing, beloved brothers and sisters, that these psalms helps us, helps with a problem common to all. So marami pong common problems that we encounter in our lives, beloved brothers and sisters. And this psalm of David were great help to us. As a Christian, and this psalm, beloved brothers and sisters, is a psalm in which the Lord sweetly quiets the common complaints of His people. Amen. It is according to, to Charles H. Spurgeon. Sabi niya, as a, this psalm of David, Psalm 37, it is a psalm. I will repeat. It is a psalm in which the Lord sweetly quiets the common complaints of His people. It is according to Charles Spurgeon, beloved brothers and sisters. And we can notice that this text, in our text, David was fretting over the prosperity of the wicked. He is worried over the prosperity of the wicked. Makikita po natin dito sa ating text no, in Psalm chapter 37. So the question this morning, beloved brothers and sisters, what's your common complaint? And what makes you a warrior? Ano po yung mga bagay na tayo po ay nababahala? na nagbibigay sa atin ng pagkabahala, beloved brothers and sisters. And I believe, mayroon po mga bagay na nating iniisip na yun po ang bumabahala sa ating buhay. Amin po ba? Amen. Amen. Of course, you are man and woman, but I be, kaya naniniwala ko mga kapatid, na tayo po ay mayroon po mga iniisip na siya ang nag, nagbibigay ng pagkabahala sa atin. And praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters, there's, there is a remedy in that warring heart. And we can find, a while back I said, we can find in this Psalm chapter 37, verses 1 and 2. So what are then, beloved brothers and sisters, the four words to win over? 
were worried. The first word is trust. And we can find that in the ver verse 3. That Sally put it as a verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness, beloved brothers and sisters. And remember this word. Trust is another word of faith. <coughs> Amen. If you believe, if you have faith, you trust God. If you trust, you have faith to the Lord. It is synonyms of faith, beloved brothers and sisters. And Christian lives. If you are a Christian, Christian lives begins in faith. Amen. You will, you will not be told you are a Christian if you don't have faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why Christians' lives, life begins in faith. And we can see that in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, Acts chapter 16, verse 31, and in Romans chapter 5, verse 1, beloved brothers and sisters. That Christian life begins in faith. Amen. If you if you profess that you are a Christian, it means you have faith or you believe the Lord Jesus Amen. in your life. Amen. 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 So now, are you a Christian? Say Amen. Amen. Say are you a Christian? Say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am a Christian. And our lives begin in faith. Alam niyo po mga kapatid, gaano man, gaano man kalaki ang ating mga binibigay sa offering, how presentable our, dress, our dresses, our suit to the Lord, how talented you are. Beloved brothers and sisters, I tell you that we cannot please God if we don't have faith. Amen. Amen. Even you are talented, even how beautiful dress you wear, how handsome and how beautiful you are, Beloved brothers and sisters, whatever race you are, whether if you are from Nigeria, from America, from Korea, it is, it is, we will not please the Lord. The only thing that we can please God is faith. Because the Bible says in Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. Kaya dapat, mga kapatid, kung gusto mo, if you want to please the Lord, have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The faith means, beloved, it is not only to believe. Because Satan, sabi niya kanina ng Sunday School teacher natin kanina, self-talk. Satan believes also in God. Yes, I know that. And I knew that. But the faith that I, I want to, I want to, Tell to you, beloved brothers and sisters, is it is believe and obey. It is equals faith. Means believe plus obey. It is the faith that I want to tell you, beloved brothers and sisters. Not only just to believe, but to obey the words of God, to obey Jesus Christ whom you believe it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe in Jesus? Amen. Amen. Praise be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's why Christians are to live by faith. Christians are to live by faith. Sabi ko, not by sight, but by faith. But by faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sabi ko ng Romans chapter 1 verse 17. Ano pong sabi? The just shall live by faith. 
He meant the righteous shall live by faith. That's why, beloved brothers and sisters, Christians are to live by faith. Hallelujah. 